Please have a seat, Natasha. Excellent. So nice to see you again, Natasha. Thank you for joining uh, me with this. So um, before we get going, actually, I just want to point out this particular painting. It's very interesting to me. And I've specifically chosen these seats because it'll come clear later on. But notice the position. You can see him holding his wrist there. Yeah. OK, so I just it really brings to light what I'm about to show you. So I want to talk to you about something called Hellstrom Hellstromism. Hellstromism. Yes. Pronounce it better than I do. Also known as muscle reading. Have we heard of this? No. Not many people have. It's actually a technique that dates back to the 1870s. And it was a technique used by mind readers to divine information. It was merely thought of by using very slight involuntary muscle movements, generally from the wrist, kind of like this picture up here. So it's nice and easy, relaxed. I'm going to take you by the wrist in a moment, very gently, yeah. might add. We're okay with that? Yeah. Excellent. So just to kind of get us warmed up and have a little feel for this. I've got a coin here. So take that coin for me. We're going to play a little game. So the idea is I've got to try and find the coin. So it's a 50-50. It can only be okay, one yeah, or the other hand. Yeah. So in a moment, we need to place it behind your back. Yeah. Put in one hand, bring them forward like this. So, so go for it now. Okay. Left or right, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> so let's try this to get going. Happy? Mm -hmm. Bring your hands forward. Okay. So the idea is... Okay, it's in this hand. Open the hand up. Excellent. There we go. So now we're going to get a feel, right? So this is about feeling. Let's do it again. Try it again. Behind your back, bring them forward. So it's always interesting this time whether people keep it the same or, or move the coin. Okay, it's in this hand. Turn that over for me. Excellent. So sometimes people think that I'm reading sort of body movements using NLP. These are techniques that are kind of known. They're widely known. So we're getting an idea now how it works. We're nice and warmed up. You're relaxed? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so... There was a mentalist, he's still around now, doesn't perform as much, uh, in the 70s in America, and he was called the Amazing Kreskin. Now, at the end of each theatre show, in front of a theatre of thousands, he would get somebody to hide his paycheck in the audience somewhere. <laughs> Spectate would come up, right? Quite a high-pressured situation, really, because if he didn't find the check, he wouldn't get paid. But if he did, maybe the drinks were on him, sort of in the, in the bar at the end of the show. And he'd always manage to find it. And this was using muscle reading techniques. Now... I think that the way that this, the reason that this worked really was because he used something that was really personal. It meant something. Of course it did, because it's his paycheck. A bit like the coin that I showed you then. So I asked if you brought up something personal to you, an object or something like that. Do you have something? Have, yes. I think, can we have a look at what you brought? It's ah! It's going to take me quite a while to get it off my head. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're doing that, yeah. we have these boxes over okay. here, okay? You can feel free to check them out. Yeah. Very plain boxes. All four of them. In a moment, Natasha, you're going to place that ring in one of these boxes. Okay. I'm going to stand in the corner over there, like I've done something wrong, as you do this. So place it in one of the box, close one of the boxes, close them all up, and then place them in anywhere in the room. <laughs> go for corners. It's entirely up to you. You can go yeah. corners anywhere. We've got this bit here and a bit further on in the gallery. Um, so are we okay with yeah. that? Once you're done, come and find me. I'm just going to be in that corner. Tap me on the shoulder. Okay. And then we're going to take a little walk around the room. And it's a bit like Kreskin's check, but with your ring. You know exactly where it will be, so we're not going to disappear or anything like that. I'm just going to try and pick up on the signals and try and find that particular ring. Are we good? Yeah. We got it? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm going to take a walk over there, place it into one of the boxes, seal it up, and then start placing the boxes around the room. Ah, we finished? We happy with the locations? Yep. Excellent. So would you mind if I take you left wrist here? So we're just going to take a little walk. Okay. Okay. It's nice and fine, relaxed. So Natasha, as we walk around the room, I'm going to try and find out where this particular box is. So can you just talk to me naturally about the ring? Tell me a little bit about it, when you got it, any sort of backstory behind the ring itself? Uh, so I think it belonged to my grandmother. And my grandmother was German and uh, came over here in the 1930s. So wow, I think it's, um, a lot of history behind it. I don't know if I really saw her wearing it, but I am. Um, don't worry about me moving your arm. I'm just trying to get a bit of a signal for where this particular box with the ring is. Keep going, yeah. When she died, um, yes, it came to me. 
So, um, yeah, it's really special. Very special to you. So what, what the, I didn't quite see it, there was a, a jewels in there? What was the kind of metal that was? I suppose it's a diamond, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I don't really wear kind of diamonds Swap and things like that. Swap this way a little bit, really. okay. I'll take back round here. So I'm doing my best not to look at you because I don't want you to kind of give anything away as we walk around each of the individual boxes. Let's keep walking this way a little bit, okay. Do you wear much other jewellery, Natasha? I can yes, see you have some other on you. Temporary jewellery, so sort of perspex and yeah. things made out of weird things. <laughs> so, okay. Hmm. Let me just walk this way a little bit. I just need to... It's definitely not over there. Okay, I'm definitely getting more of a pull over to this side. <laughs> That's your ring, yes? That is my ring. Excellent, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Muscle reading. <laughs> there we go. I feel like the man in the picture now as well, kind of. Excellent. Tasha, right. thank you so much. It's